not everybody likes Rocky Road, but some people like the mint choc chip. So it's all about personal preference, and that's what it really is for the barrels as well. So because of the manufacturing tolerances within barrels, um, you often find that um, one batch may suit one particular barrel extremely well, but not, not quite as well in another barrel. So it's important to, to source as many different batches of ammunition as you can, so you can test them all and find the best one for you. I've travelled down to Bisley this morning to bring lots of batches of 10x for customers to come along so we can do some batch testing here at the Lord Roberts Centre. The whole point of batch testing is to find the best lot of ammunition for your particular barrel. All barrels are different, every lot of ammunition is slightly different, there's a variance in there. So it's about matching the correct lot to your barrel. Barry's tested 10 lots here today. Very happy with the batch that he's selected. Um, nice small round group, which is, is ideally what we're after. It just means that when Barry's next on the firing point, shooting from the shoulder, he's got absolute confidence in the ammunition and barrel combination that he's working with. Very pleased with it. I'm uh, buying as much as I can get on my license. I like to sort of check out the all the major manufacturers I get testing and this is by far the best I've seen for a long long time. In fact the previous customer selected another batch off a completely different loader but again he, his barrel was different so that particular lot matched his barrel really well and Barry who's just left he's had another batch and that shot really well as well so it was good. The pre-booked with the centre shop manager here uh, Gemma so I've been in shooting since I was seven, so I've been able to experience going to international competitions. So I've been able to be a beginner right round to be one of the experienced international athletes. So I would like to be able to think that I can pass my knowledge on to other shooters to be able to get far and know exactly what they're wishing for and looking for, really. We sell here 17722 small bore air rifles and air pistols. We do the full range of accessories, targets, ammunition, so we get everything they could possibly wish for, really. She's then given me a list of the, the customers coming in, so I know what time they're coming in. They come here with the barrels. We take the barrels out of the stock and mount them in our rig here, and then I align it to the target, set the test up, and away we go. It can be literally done in just a few minutes. It's basically a vice on a steel frame, but bolted to the floor. But it doesn't have to look pretty, it has to do a job, and that is to keep the rifle absolutely still. What we're looking for is extremely small groups, as best as possible, round, and then we just print them off. The customer can look through the different groups according to the different lot, lot numbers, and then they can select the best one that they want to shoot with in the future. Ely has been manufacturing ammunition since 1828. I've been not quite with them that long. I've been only with them nearly 15 years, but I've been operating the test ranges all that time, and I've tested one or two barrels in my time as well. <laughs> we have customers come from all over the world. Only this week I had one of the Indian national team rifle shooters in. I picked her up from Birmingham Airport on Tuesday morning. She came and tested her barrel. And then she got um, her cousin to come and pick her up from London and she's spending some time down there with her family and then she travels back next week. Um, but yeah, she's very happy with the groups of ammunition that she's selected and uh, obviously we wish her luck in her future competitions. Nice to always to have Olympians come to the factory because um, the young lady in question shot at the Tokyo Olympics last year for India. This is the first time we've done this in a number of years now at Bisley, obviously due to the pandemic and stuff. But we'll be looking to do this a couple of times a year, come down, a bit more convenient for people.